My prank flooded a friend's house, forcing his family to move. All right, so picture this. It's the mid-90s, I'm a middle schooler, and pranking my friends is practically a hobby. One Friday, I was hanging out with a couple of my buddies. Let's call them Derek, Jamie, and Sam. We were riding bikes after school, just goofing around, when Derek suggested we make a quick stop by his place so he could feed the dog. I had read about a genius prank in Mad Magazine, and suddenly I knew exactly what I wanted to try. The prank was classic. You lift the toilet tank lid, position the fill hose just right so it lightly sprays water at the person who flushes it. Since the water doesn't fill the tank, the float bulb won't rise, and the water keeps spraying until someone turns it off or fixes the hose. It was foolproof, or so I thought. As we got close to Derek's house, I put on my best desperate act. Man, I really need to use the bathroom. I said, pretending to squirm. Derek told me no problem. He just needed to let the dog out and give it food and water. But then he said something that threw a wrench in my plans. To be honest, I need to go too. I panicked a bit. If he went before me, my prank was ruined. Luckily, he let me go first. I practically bolted upstairs, holding myself for dramatic effect, and Derek pointed me down the hall to the bathroom. Once inside, I lifted the toilet tank lid, positioned the hose just right, and closed it back up. Up, picturing Derek's reaction as water would spray out. I went back downstairs, trying to look as casual as possible. A minute later, Derek ran up to use the bathroom, while the rest of us waited with our bikes outside. He came back down like nothing happened, so we hopped on our bikes and rode to the park. I tried fishing for any sign that he'd noticed the water, saying, man, you took long enough. He just shrugged, said he'd let the dog out and took a quick bathroom break, and that was that. No mention of any water, no reaction at all. After a while, I forgot about it as we spent the day hanging out, even got to chat with a girl I'd had a massive crush on. Life was good. Then came Monday. During class, I noticed Derek Derek looked a bit out of it. After lunch, the PA system crackled, calling him to the office and announcing he'd be leaving for the day. He looked confused, grabbed his stuff, and left. The whole class heard him grabbing things from his locker outside. But then he didn't come back the next day, or the day after that. In fact, he didn't come back at all. We all wondered what in the world had happened. Finally, Sam, who was pretty tight with Derek, broke the news. Derek had moved away, just like that. My heart dropped. Derek was one of my closest friends, and it didn't make any sense. Sam explained that Derek's parents had been out of town that weekend, leaving him to check on the dog. Apparently, when Derek had gone to the bathroom, he flushed without noticing anything and the prank went into full effect. The water kept spraying out all day Friday, then all through Saturday and Sunday, flooding the entire bathroom, then the hallway, and eventually causing the ceiling to weaken and collapse into the living room. The water ended up seeping through both the main floor and basement. When Derek's parents came home on Monday, they found a seriously damaged home. They had no choice but to pick up and move as their house, which was already in rough shape, was now too far gone. The house has since been taken down. I felt my stomach drop and my face go pale as it all clicked together. My harmless prank had basically wrecked their entire house and I was the reason he and his family had to pack up and leave. He was a good friend to me. I never told anyone the truth, and I still feel a pang of guilt every time I think about it. I never saw Derek again.